we saw Martin Scorsese's yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Martin Scorsese tackle the law of FNAF. He probably he probably would have done a terrific job. It would have been better well. than whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I think to talk about the Five Nights at Freddy's film, mm -hmm. I think we can point to a single moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mentioned to you this when, mentioned this to you when we came out, mm -hmm. where um, the main character Mike. Is that his name? Mike, yeah, played, it, by, it, yeah. played by the Hunger Games guy. Is it the law that M M he doesn't have a last name and that's why they made like a joke out of his last name? When the when uh, Matthew Lilliard goes, ah, Mike, and then just stares at a piece of paper for like five minutes. I guess, yeah. the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, let's... Okay, so he, yeah. he fucking... So he, <laughs> says to the police officer woman, yeah. um, I barely talk about my brother, which is really funny because, because the previous he spent, hour and a half he spent, he spent 90% of this talking about his fucking brother. He never fucking shuts up. Never shuts up about we, his brother. We see the same dream revolving on his brother <laughs> 10 times. So, I swear to Christ. So, yeah, so... Let's just let's just set the scene. Five nights at Freddy's. It felt like fifty. <laughs> zing, <laughs> zing. Um, Get zing, Scott Colton. Let's let's establish. Let's just yeah. establish, right? I'm going insane. So you, <laughs> so Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. What are your relations to the franchise? Uh, I played the first one mm -hmm. recently. Okay. And uh, the last few years. Okay. Um, I beat it. Mm -hmm. I'm a god gamer, what can I say? Okay, then really? I, I played the second one, mm -hmm. um, cried, got someone else to come <laughs> over and try and beat it for me. Cry, cr cry not because it's scary. Yeah, because it's, because it's hard. hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, <laughs> got someone else to come over and try and beat it for me. Yes. They couldn't, promptly uninstalled it from Steam. And I, I, but I, I know the rest of the series by reputation. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't know like the story, you don't know the characters. <sighs> other than like the main I know guys. the premises of each game. Yes. I couldn't tell that's you it. the law. Okay. Um, that's, yeah. I don't think anyone could at this <laughs> point because, I mean, it's so convoluted now. But yeah, so when so when it originally came out, I know you were a bit younger than me. You were how old? It was 2014. 2014. I would have been 11. See, that, see you, were, you were in like the prime age for no, it. I'm surprised. It was wild. Yeah. Um, when it came out, so I never bought it for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. I used to play it on my cousin's iPad. I yeah, I had it on my tablet, but I never I barely played it. Yeah. I was too scared. I, I, yeah, I was a little pussy, mm. but it was all anyone talked about. Because mm. the games I think didn't they come out like basically in the span of a year? Well it was it was really interesting how they done the games because in some ways they are new games. Yeah, but to yeah. me, they don't to me, they feel less like new games but more like installments. In yeah. the sense of, like, one story. But, like, this didn't... Because it basically wasn't it one, and then, like, a couple months later... Two, yeah, it was, like, yeah, because one, three. one I remember, I think, was August. Like, it was, like, late yeah, summer. Yeah. And then I think the second one was, like, October, November. Yeah. And then the first one was, like, early 20... I mean, they were, like, every three or four months. Because I out. remember, yeah. for the year that they were coming out, it was all anyone mm -hmm. would talk about. It was... It was... It was huge. It was... One of them. I, I, I got into it, I think, in between the first and second one. It was a bit... Yeah. I, I was a bit late to the initial yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I, I I wasn't really a big market player watcher. Yeah. But it was kind of one of those where occasionally I would watch them. Yeah, but yeah. I think I, I got into Final Fantasy Freddy through another channel, but I don't remember what it was. No sense. But I just got into it. It was kind of mm. like, ooh, I like this, because I just love horror shit. And it was like... And I think... Because what got me was... The gameplay was creepy and like there was mm. some cool like, it was scary but like what got me was the story yeah yeah. yeah. i really really loved in that first game I, I tried to understand the lore of fnaf it's and one you see i gave up promptly. i would i would say one two three and four mm. relatively easy to follow yeah, yeah, yeah. though it's just one of them where i would say if you wanted to get it it is worth like Watching videos on them, yeah, because I need to do fucking homework. Well, yeah, no, because before, because 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 with those games, especially the first one, it's all in the background. Yeah, it's yeah. very much like you have to sort of find it. Yeah, which like so that's why it is like I, I think a lot of the games are like that. They're like two, three, like they do lean into it more. Mm. But like it was it, it was a franchise where like when I got into it in the early days, I was into it. Like yeah. I was I. I remember watching theories on it. I never watched Game Theory. It's just a theory. Yeah. We'll, we'll get we'll to that. We'll fucking get we'll to that. We'll get to that. That's <laughs> how the crimes he's committed. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, full spoilers, by the way. Oh, I don't give a shit. But yeah, uh, I mean, but it, it's what it's on streaming like day one, so by yeah, the time you see yeah. this, you've probably already seen it. But yeah. so fuck you. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, um the games in the early days were really cool and had like some interesting lore and a really mm. unique story that like was quite creepy yeah, for like yeah. engaging I, and I remember like watching tons of theories on it and like really getting into it <laughs> no not game theory <laughs> never, never just, touched just, just, you know, just like, a theory it's like 50 videos on it I I don't know how anyone I, I'm gonna sit find down. the exact it's mind. like it's like the one piece of fury video no, literally it's, it's um, actually terrifying listen I listen I respect Matt Pat because I mean I'm sure he's a lovely man he seems like a very lovely man I don't really yeah. know much about him, but he is seems there, nice. Is there a playlist? This is but I, I, I could not sit down and watch two. I think I, I think a YouTuber I like... Went. No, sorry. I was massively oh. wrong. Oh, is it double? It's not 50. It's 94. Right. <laughs> 94. So you could watch 94 videos or one video by Wendigoon, who's <laughs> done like a cool video on it. Which is like 80 minutes. And like they're all like 20 minutes. It's, this one's an hour. What yeah, it's like a fuck. fuck. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, some of these I think are like um, live streams. But also like there is so, so, so many just theories. But that's just a theory. <laughs> Game theory. FNAF stumped me again. Again? Do you want to know crazy? These all get millions of views though. Well, because... Because Five Nights at Freddy's is such a huge, like, mine for, like, theory content. Which is why... So, this movie was in the works for a long, long, long Yeah, no, I remember hearing about this for ages. Yeah, I mean, I think we even talked about it at some point. Yeah, we really, like, yeah, I and think it's we like, talked about it multiple times. Yeah, because it was one of those films that for a while just kind of existed. Like the Minecraft movie. Yeah, it was like... never released really Yeah, probably not. Fake movie. Uh, well, Jason Momoa. Apparently, oh, sorry. He, he, he's single-handedly <laughs> going to get it made. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like... <laughs> it's just Jason Momoa in his fucking back garden. <laughs> Um, just fucking knocking down trees. Knocking <laughs> I'd watch that. It's like four hours long. So um, yeah. So this was a film that was that kept cropping up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where it was like, oh, it's gonna happen. I remember like in I remember in 2017, 2018, there was mm. a there was a picture of like of like a director's chair with Scott Cawthon's name on it and the Blumhouse logo next to it. Yeah. yeah. And then that was like, oh, it's coming. And it just it's never. A it, yeah, it just never did. And, like the guy who did Monster House was gonna direct it at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, which would have been sick. Chris Columbus was gonna do it. Which wouldn't have been sick. Which is <laughs> of Home Alone <laughs> fame and Night of the Museum fame. The which first, I guess didn't Chris Columbus do the first Percy Jackson film? He did. He's only Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he did, o- he's only made hits. <laughs> he did. Wait, did he do Night in the Museum? He did um, the first two Harry Potters, didn't he? Yeah. He's done a lot. He's like the ultimate director for hire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like he was, he was going to do it and then it just kept falling through. And then finally, like all of a sudden, it was like earlier this year. Yeah. yeah. They started like filming it. Yeah. And it was like really quick. It was like literally beginning of this year. Yeah, because I remember started... the image just like coming out. Well, yeah, because I super fast. because I remember there was there was like oh like we're gonna talk about it soon. It's gonna be mm. announced. And I was thinking, okay, maybe maybe they're gonna get it. I was thinking, okay, they'll put it out for like the Megan slot next yeah, year. Yeah. They'll have it like January, and like but then you're like, no, it's coming Halloween this year. I was yeah. like, what? Yeah, it, yeah. Like I was, it was like literally, and that was only a couple of months ago that they actually announced yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, at first I was like, hmm, that's weird. After watching the film, <laughs> I can totally see why. Because <laughs> what the fuck was that? It honestly had the vibe. Mm. Watch, watching this film, it had the vibe of, like, um, in, in, in 2011, Dimension Films... Yeah. Who owns the Hellraiser IP? Oh yeah. They yeah. had it, and it, and and around that time, it had been a couple of years since they had made mm. um, a Hellraiser like movie. Yeah. So they were about to lose the license to the rights. So what they did was over a weekend they made the Hellraiser film. Incredible. This is what this feels like. Not not <laughs> as not as extreme. I will say not as extreme. They might just spend like two weeks on it. Yeah. <laughs> but it has. <laughs> but it, the whole film just feels yeah. wrong and it feels like a rushed job which is really bizarre for yeah. a film that has been in the works for as long as it has because yeah. a lot of it a lot of the film 
in terms of its narrative, completely falls flat. Mm. But it seems like the trick that Blowhouse learned was, okay, this film is shit. <laughs> but the fans will eat it up yeah. as long as we make sure we can set it up. Yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. necessarily take cater in terms of giving them, like, you know, a cool story. Cater to them of, you know Freddy. Mm. Here's Freddy. Here's Chica. Here's Bonnie. Here's Here's Matt Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Matt Pat. Here's Markiplier. Oh, wait, sorry. Markiplier is, Markiplier is not available. He's okay. not, well, he, I, think he was, I think he was filming his like, own fucking film, so like, fair play. Which, you know what? Genuinely, I am excited for that film. Yeah, yeah. Because it's one of them. He's directing it. Isn't he starring in it, too? I think so. He's a cool dad. He's a cool dude. I was going to say cool dad. He's a cool... <laughs> Does he have kids? I don't know. He's cool. He might be a cool dad. Probably <laughs> is. Yeah, like, Markiplier, like, I don't really list, I don't really watch him anymore. But I do respect, he seems, yeah, yeah, he seems yeah. like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, my girlfriend so, watches him sometimes. Yeah, like, he, he, like, he, he seems like a, a, a cool person. And, like, I do respect that, like, he's making a movie. Yeah. That, like, I mean, it might be great. Do yeah. You know, I, I don't know about him starring in it, because I've seen him act before, and... Yeah. He's not, he's not the best. <laughs> He's not. He's, he's he's not someone I go to personally mm. for a make for a theatrical release though. Of course it will. I'm just say. I'm I'm honestly surprised it hasn't been picked up by like you by like Blumhouse. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah. I feel like that would be like because it will make a lot of money. Because it's a horror yeah. film. Yeah. It's yeah. a horror film. You have to market by it. Well, look at like the talk to me. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. It, I, I, it's one of them. I imagine it's a low budget film. Mm. I imagine. It's, yeah, the Markiplier fans will come up in droves. Yeah, yeah. And, like, also... It's funny that we, uh, we're avoiding talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, because the more we, cause, cause the more we talk about it, the more angry I get. <laughs> because, yeah. So, wait, let, let's, set, yeah. let's set the scene. Just, so, yeah. um, <laughs> I'll, 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 take, I'll take over a sec. Yeah. So, basically, there is this guy, Mike, Mike, no last name, mm -hmm. who has a little Mike, sister. Mike. <laughs> His little brother was kidnapped. Mm -hmm. And... We never saw him again. Mm -hmm. And Mike won't let us forget that mm -hmm. for a fucking second. Mike Mike likes to go into the dream world. Okay, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Look, okay, I... Oh, so yeah, so Mike every night, um, he goes into his dream to relive the That should the be his night. name, by the way, Mike every night. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking... So yeah, he relives the night his brother the like the day his brother got kidnapped mm -hmm. because he's looking to find the killer bearing in mind this was like 20 years ago so i don't know what fucking help it would do mm -hmm. but also what yeah <laughs> um okay look what fine whatever sure so he's stupid sick <laughs> um and he is raising his little sister because his mum died and his dad just left just out of the picture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's raising the little sister. So then he, but then he gets fired from his job for fucking beating up with someone, which is fair, based. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He like struggles to like keep a job. Yeah, For yeah. various different reasons. And so he fucking, by the way, would a security guard to get fired? I feel that's the point of a security guard. I know not to beat up like random people, but like if they think they're <laughs> suspicious, I feel like that's kind of, their job. I guess you want them to be kind of intimidating. What, and him beating someone up isn't? Well, no, well, 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 I mean, well, I mean, it says that, I mean, most, like, security guards, I feel like, probably don't really... Beat people up. Beat people, well, like, but, but, but it's one of yeah. them, but it's like, but, but it's like the threat of that. Yeah. They want it, because it's one of them, like, because I imagine if a security guard does beat someone up in, like, is that me? That, that's... I don't know because but... again, well, we're avoiding talking about. No, guys. yeah, <laughs> but like he, yeah, like he's like a pretty like the guy. He's all like fucking yeah. He's, he's, like he's, he's built there's up. not like one scene in the beginning where like he sees a kid, like yeah, do whatever, and then like the dad like grabs. Yeah, the no, that's what I want. Right? Yeah, yeah, beats the fuck out of him. Yeah, because yeah, because he. I'm assuming it's meant to be like oh, it's like his little brother getting kidnapped. Yeah. And don't you fucking forget about that little brother. Oh. So, the, so the movie has like 10 different dream sequences, which are the same fucking the dream same sequence. same thing. And we see it constantly. Time. And they, they barely ever cut anything from it. And it's fucking depressing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he gets a job at, fi at the Five Nights at Freddy. Well, sorry, not the Five Nights at Freddy Fazbear's yeah. fucking restaurant. Um, 
By the way, there's only four nights in the film. I want a refund. Yeah, te yeah. Yeah, I what got the fuck? Five Nights at Freddy's more like Four Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. You, you're cutting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Which, granted, this film's nearly like two hours. I know, so I guess you have, to, you have to cut something out. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, and then the Five Nights at Freddy's, the animatronics are alive, um, and they get up to wacky hijinks. Not yeah, horror. No. Not, not in our Five Nights at Freddy's well, I guess, film. Well, I guess there's one horror sequence. Yeah. Can you call that a horror sequence? Where the, yeah. So, like, so, so while all this is going on, Josh, Mike, whatever the fuck. What's his name? Mike? Yeah. Mike, yeah. yeah. Josh Hutchinson, like, plays him. Yeah, yeah, Um, He's Mike... Sh Mike Amatro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, because fucking, so Matthew, Lil uh, Matthew Lilliard, that's his name, Scooby-Doo. Lil no, Shaggy. It's Matthew, it's Matthew Lillard, I think. Is it Matthew Lillard? Okay. Matthew. That's that's how I always Matty say it. Boy. Matty Boy. Matty Boy. <laughs> Matty L. He plays this career counselor guy. Mm -hmm. Um, whatever. Mike mm -hmm. Flanagan. I don't know what the fuck his name Mike is. Mike Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. And he, he's fucking like, oh, I've got a job for you. Like, he's the weirdest fucker to ever exist. I don't know what the fuck Mike's doing here. Um, he's so he's so he's clearly in a different movie. yeah he's clearly a bad guy <laughs> which like immediately is like because he, yeah. he sat there going I, do, do you want a yeah job well that's, I think yeah, you're a bit because, of a strange individual because he right so he so he's playing William Afton yeah who's like the big bad of like Five Nights at Freddy's is he so he's is okay so the law of Five Nights at Freddy's is don't, something I don't understand. Don't. <laughs> It, is he being spring trap? Is that in the law? Yes. It is. Yes, because if I Is he in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 actually in the suit? I believe so. Because is I do he? because I do I I, I, I vaguely scary. I, I I vaguely remember because because they show him dying in like one of the 8-bit sequences. Yeah. Where he's in like the suit and then you see him like no, but I'm, so I mean, like when, like, when it, 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 it's actually that that sequence in, in Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. Three though is he actually like when he's haunting you? And, like, I don't. I, it. There's no way it must I be the ghost of him. I don't think so because if I remember right, that's not of, that's not scary. If I if, if I remember right, Five Nights at Freddy's Disneyland. yeah. I think I think Five Nights at Freddy's Three a lot of it isn't real. Oh, it's all it's bastard. all like hallucinations. Okay. It's up. So, Final Fantasy Freddy 3 sucks. Yeah, the actual yeah. game sucks, but the story is like cool. Okay. It's what it gets by purely right. on the story. So so Matthew Matthew. He's <laughs> he's this, yeah, he's like so he's William Afton, who mm -hmm. is the owner of Fazbear's Pizzeria. I guess. Who's a nonce. Who mm -hmm. really enjoys dressing up in um animatronics and As you do. stealing kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which it's another word for a nonce. Um, yeah. And, <laughs> and then he poses as this uh, career counselor to fucking convince, um, what's his name, Mike, to be a security guard at his pizzeria. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But also doesn't want him to get too close to the truth. So why the fuck is he hiring? <laughs> Why, why is he hiring so a guy whose <laughs> job is exclusively to sit around? And is he walk. not just gonna walk around? No, exactly. And also, does he not? So okay, so fucking. So what's his name? <laughs> Steve Afton. William Afton. William Afton. What's his name? <laughs> William Afton. Okay, so Willie's Wonderland. He. <laughs> Willie's Wonderland. Yeah. He fucking. So he knows these animatronics are alive because he put the kids in them, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming is just a code word for Monty behavior. Yes. So he he put the kids in these animatronics. He knows they're alive. So he decided to hire this guy to spend every night staring at them, knowing they're alive, but he doesn't want that guy to know the truth, what's going on. Yeah, this plan kind of falls His apart. Plan, <laughs> plan kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, so... And then at the end, he. But then, but then, no, but, but then must also turn out that he spends his nights <laughs> in the pizzeria dressed up in an animatronic costume, probably wanking <laughs> in the corner. Yeah. Because what the fuck else was he doing there? So, <sighs> what was he doing there? He He's just there at the end. Like, 
it's not like fucking Freddy rings him up. You see, he's this just is, there. And this is and this is the problem. He's just there and he just walks out from in the shadows. This is and this what is What was he doing? This is the problem what was he with doing the film. There? The problem with the film is the narrative is so bare bones and so messy that it can't like it's one of them like it's because while all this is going on by the yeah, way, yeah. right, fucking Mike has a little sister. Yeah, yeah, Abby. That, is that her name? Yeah, Abby. yeah, yeah. That like that like his aunt is like trying to basically take away from him. Yeah. Because uh, she's she's I don't know on the spectrum of a suit. Mike, Mike, was, <laughs> Mike was pretty chill with the fact that Freddy Fazbear fucking slaughtered <laughs> his auntie. <laughs> she's she. <laughs> Fucking like no scopes the auntie, and then it's like to, it's like to the to Abby is like yeah no she's sleeping. And Abby's like fuck yeah, let's go. Like, which okay like to be fair, she's like a child, like she's like a child child, but like I know but it's so funny. But, and then when she gets in the fucking taxi with animatronic and the taxi driver's like oh I'm not getting paid enough for this shit, <laughs> and, and it's like a fucking walking ghost animatronic and the taxi driver's like yeah no. But let's, like, let's just, Let's just, let's just back up for a second. And Matt Pat's in the movie. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So let's just, let's just back up. Okay, yeah, yeah, so the scene let's you're just on, the scene you're So, <laughs> I, I totally forgot that they don't even address that the auntie is dead. They don't even address that. But like, okay, well, how did super- Freddy get there? Did he take a cab? <laughs> I guess he's talking to the cab. <laughs> what, did he, what did they pay the taxi driver with? She's five. <laughs> Fucking tickets to Freddy's fast. Wait, yeah. What did they pay the taxi Did Freddy just have like a wallet of cash? Just like, here you go, lads. Fucking just pulls out a 20. <laughs> yeah, so... So in, case, so in case you couldn't tell, this movie fucking broke. <laughs> yeah, th- this movie, this movie, if you think about it for more than five seconds, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. How did he get there? See, one of the things I remember... How did, how did, did he take the bus? One of the, one of the things I remember did in the game... Did Freddy take the bus? One of the things I remember in the game, because this is a, because this is another question I've got. So in the game and this, they established that the kids' bodies, William after they killed a bunch of these kids and stuffed them in yeah, the animatronic yeah, yeah. suits. So like, so Chica, Bonnie, Freddy, Foxy, all of them, mm. they all represent the children that dies. You wouldn't know it because all the animatronics act the same. Was there four of them? I swear there was five. Oh, was one of them in the cake? Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Wait. What's what's that? Cake. Wait, cake? tell you what, they do a lot with that cake, which if, if I remember in the game, they barely did anything with that. Yeah. The cake wasn't a character. Is, it was just a cake. So it was five kids, right? There were like five ghost children. So was the fifth one in the cake? Yeah, because, yeah, you know what? That's a good question, because I remember seeing the kids, because one of them's got like a hook. Yeah, yeah. One of them's got a hat. And yeah. then the other one's got like, wi- like wings? It was well, nice like of the bit. kids to dress up in, uh, in appropriate outfits so we knew which so fucking I could tell to put because them I, in. Because I wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. Do you reckon, do you reckon those kids fucking William Afton, when he killed those kids, looked and went, oh, well, this one's wearing a top hat. I'll fucking <laughs> shove him in the top hat one. That's convenient, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Wait, but there's also that dead one in, like, the... the I guess maybe that's... Which one? There's, like, one of them, like, in the room. Oh, in, the, like, the way... Where it's all, like, dead. Oh, the puppet. The puppet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which... But there's also Balloon Boy too, which shows up a couple of times. Yeah, what the fuck was he doing? But is that... he that tiny normally? Because I swear, no, I, I he's like, like no, he's like Blue Balloon Boy is like a fucking prowler. He's a no, predator. He, no, yeah, because Blue Boy's the scariest one. Because yeah, once you yeah. see him in the game, you're fucked. Like yeah, that's yeah. kind of thing. Okay, that's it. You're dead. Like yeah, he, yeah. but he wasn't like tiny. Mm. He was like they shrunk him. They fucking they shrunk washed him. <laughs> they made him small. They fucked over Balloon Boy. You know what? That's probably the thing that made me angry most. What is How the Balloon Boy like? Yeah, what the fuck? No, literally. Represent Balloon Boy. But even that. But again, like, it's funny where it it to me the Balloon Boy stuff in it is kind of a, a good example of why this film immediately fails mm. because it turns it into a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balloon Boy in this is a joke. Yeah. It's, oh, Balloon Boy, I don't like Balloon Boy. Well, okay, let's move him out of the way. Like, yeah. 
everything becomes a joke. The film is constantly, constantly winking at the camera. Mm. Every moment it can get, it winks at the camera because the film decides not to be scary. Yeah, yeah. Instead, it's supposed to be like, hey, fans, isn't this silly? But yeah. it's like, the reason why fans got into it was because there was a cool story and a genuinely creepy atmosphere that yeah. people were drawn into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get it. This film is for kids. Mm. Which, it's very weird to watch this 15 rated film. Yeah. Because it does feel like it's marketed for seven year olds. It is weird, Because yeah. there's barely any blood there's in it. There's like one or two, okay. There's it's PG-13 one... in America, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it makes sense. The most gory thing in it. I mean, there's, there's a shot where someone's face is all fucked up. Barely. But it's, I mean, yeah, it's more but... that it's just, they've splattered some ketchup Yeah, exactly. On it. It's really dark, so you can barely make it out. Yeah, but there's one yeah. shot where someone basically gets like, munched on the bite of 87 yeah. if you will <laughs> <laughs> what is that the, the bite of 87 like in like fucking in the, in like the lore, five in the lore. see the thing is i don't remember what the actual bite is because i remember when marker player went was that the bite of 87 i remember that and i don't think that was the actual bite of 87 okay, okay, okay. i don't know but i think I, the basic is some kids i think got bit by an animatronic um. and i think died I think basically, like, if I remember right, I could be totally wrong. Yeah. That shot in the movie where, like, the the person's, like, looking inside the... It's one of the girls. Yeah, It's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the babysitter. The babysitter. When she's looking into Which the... Which we, we, oh, we can get to the babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> when she when she's looking into the mouth of, like, Freddie Fazbear and then, like, she gets munched on and basically gets, like, her legs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Get, like, separated. I don't even want to know how that worked. Yeah, how... How... How, did how pull tough? That off? How tough are Freddy's teeth that he could just clearly cut this? How did she get? She, so she got pulled into the animatronic, but like halfway through, Freddy Freddy gave up and just bit her. In. What? I don't know. I'm but but that but that. But I'm, we, I'm putting too much. I'm that's probably the most hard. graphic thing in the movie. Yeah. But you don't see it. It's just no, a silhouette. You see the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see the shadow, and that's it. Which is usually. The telltale way of like we don't want we're not going to show it this yeah. because we don't want it. Be- it kind of goes hard, but like kind of. But it probably would have went harder if we could see it. Yeah, no, exactly. But again, like this is and, and this is kind of the, the the overall dilemma of the film is Five Nights at Freddy's is one of those things where it's not really for kids, mm. but kids love it. Yeah. So you've got this tricky game of how how do you make something. For kids, yeah. that's not for kids because yeah. you want because you want it to be for kids because yeah, that, that's, Freddy, that's that's the audience you want to go for. You yeah, want yeah. kids to see it because I mean that's probably why it's getting put on streaming day one. Oh no, absolutely. It's so kids can see it too. Like you know, in case the parents are like, no, little Timmy, I'm not gonna go and take you to see Five the Freddy's, and the kids like, fuck you, mom, and it's like <laughs> they they but, should add like a mode where they put Markiplier in the corner. <laughs> Market player coming to <laughs> but like yeah, I would go so hard. It's it, it's just this problem of like you with this with this movie, <laughs> like you've got this dilemma of you don't want to make it too scary mm. because you want kids to see it, yeah. but at the same time you still are trying to be creepy. Yeah. So it just ends up feeling more like goosebumps. Yeah. But to be fair to goosebumps, I've seen episodes of goosebumps. And Goosebumps stories that are scarier than this. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no tension here whatsoever. Well, that's the, the Goosebumps movie, which is a banger, by the way. Mm. That is constantly fun and fresh. Mm-hmm. This this is boring. Boring. Is, it's. I'm, I I think that's what lets me down the most mm-hmm. of how boring it is because it's so committed to this typical horror movie plot of this guy's grieving about his brother. And he's fucking obsessed. And would you look at that? The villains of this horror movie represent the grief. It's a yeah. And it's like we've seen this. The boogeyman did this, and that was the boogeyman. Every single yeah. horror movie nowadays is doing this. It's pulling on these exact same tropes, and this is just another one that just is going down the same route. And it's so disappointing because all you needed to do with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie mm-hmm. is put a man. In that office yeah. and say, "Hey, mate, some fucking animatronics are on your tail." Yeah, all he all he had to do, genuinely, right? The way the way they should have made this was a ninety minute movie mm. where it's about a guy who gets a job at the place, right? 
very, very minimal mm. in terms of setup, you know, keep it like a tight 90 minutes, and you just have a guy who goes, who goes to this place, right, and he's looking at the animatronics, you know, maybe, maybe you'll have someone on like the call, you yeah, know, yeah. the phone call, which that's what disappointed me. No phone call. <laughs> I want to hear the guy say the animatronics do get a little quirky at yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. I want to hear that. Now that would have made me happy. <laughs> that I would have cheered. But you like, didn't cheer at that part. I wanted to kill myself <laughs> when I saw that. So that, that fucking subplot. That subplot. Yeah. Just, just before we get into that yeah, though, yeah. like this, this film is like. It just goes at it all wrong. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, there is a cool film there where you just have a guy who is in this place with these animatronics and slowly realizes that there's something going on with them. Mm. And you can slowly build the story up with each night. Even even have it set up with like chapters. Yeah, yeah. Why why did they embrace that? Why not do like what like Nope did? Yeah. Say yeah. how like you know they could have like night one, night two, night embrace it mm. it's like it's scared to be the game yeah almost yeah. we so it's trying to become like an amalgamation of like what the series is we spend instead so of, much time outside of the pizzeria yeah which well, is, yeah it's like it's just never interesting it's like it's scared yeah, yeah to embrace the five nights of freddy's thing but then in the same time, it's like it's so, not even yeah. five nights no it's four four Get and a half the at best out. I guess that's not a very good title, is it, though? <laughs> four, four and a half nights of Freddy's. Four and a half. <laughs> there is one shot, and I, I'm i going full fucking Cinema Sins, which is, I know, terrible often. Okay. But it's just stuff like this where I'm like, this, it just feels careless. Mm-hmm. Where he goes out, it's like the middle of the fucking day, he picks up his, his sleeping pills, and then it like, then he goes to his job, and it's fucking, I guess it's midnight. And it's shit like that, where it's like, it's just, it just, not to be feels like not to be too cinema since too, but there was there was one shot yeah. that right that got me especially when I was really distracted was when when Mike and the police officer are leaving. Yeah. Every time he, he left, it was always like dawn. Yeah. They left and it was like pitch black. Yeah. And it's like is is it not six AM? Are you just leaving the job like that hour early? <laughs> like yeah, yeah, cause I remember that shot, like I was like it wasn't a big deal, but I was thinking in the back of my head, I was like why, why is it like pitch black outside? Why do they need a security guard just for the night, but not the day? Well, that's the thing, because the people come in and they, and they raid the place. Like, which, which for me, I was a bit like, okay, yeah, he is responsible in the sense of, I guess, yeah, he left yeah. the door open and stuff. But I'm also like, because, but when I thought they were going to go in and trash the place, I thought it was going to be like, they were gonna go in yeah. while he was asleep. There's one, and try there's and one bit it. of that sequence I really like, which is, which to me felt like what the film kind of could have leaned into more. Is it, is it the chica? Or it's, the, the you know, it's the um, it's the fucking, it's the bit where it's that guy running, and he's running through the corridors and shit, and it's like showing you the security camera footage. Yeah, that felt the most like the game. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. But it, but one thing that I didn't like about that was it was played for laughs. Because he's like, yeah. oh, like yeah, which yeah, yeah. again, it's like that problem of, it's like, it 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 it's a weird video game movie in a way of it mm. feels like it's ashamed of itself. Yeah, where it, it it's won't, very it, reminiscent yeah. of classic video game movies. Yes, yeah. which is weird because Final Fantasy Freddy's does have a sense of humor. Yeah, Final Fantasy yeah. Freddy's is actually quite funny when it yeah. wants to be, especially sister location and stuff. They do have a sense of humor, but the sense of humor usually came from like the kind of this because. Because like it was like the voice, yeah, on like the on the phone would be quite funny, especially yeah, in yeah. sister location because they would say say it in the lines in a very specific way where it was kind of like a there was like a carelessness that was quite funny mm. and stuff. It, it wasn't in your face, but it was just kind of a thing of you would like you know you chuckle or something. Yeah, yeah. But it was like, but it never undercut the tension. It never yeah. felt like the game was just you know, yeah. The game lost all of its horror. This. Is like any moment it can be scary, it immediately cuts with a joke. Mm. It immediately has to cut to something silly, or it has to wink at the camera because it's so it's so focused on fan service mm. without actually like giving fans anything other than just that same iconography over map, and over map, again. Map, oh, and map, map pass. Map. It's like, oh, you know Freddy, here's Freddy. Yeah. And it's like, but then when it's not doing that, you've just got this completely empty narrative which has so many subplots that go 
nowhere. Yeah. Like, yeah, Mike has a little sister that the aunt is, like, trying to, you know, yeah. take away. But then that just gets dropped as so soon she, as the film feels it's like weird it. weird because... So the aunt... so much time with it, So though? Mike agrees with the aunt to let the aunt have her, I guess. I guess. But then the aunt gets fucking slaughtered by Freddy, and then Mike just is, like, chill. <laughs> I guess... So I, I guess I get her back. <laughs> Yeah, like, again, it's That's like a big dub. <laughs> again, it's like it's amateur. Yeah, it's how it it is. It's genuinely like amateur writing. Yeah, and she, I'm like, I can't believe they they didn't like go. This is we need to go in and like heavily reshoot this because yeah. it's it's amateur. Like it, it literally the film feels careless because mm. they're so they're like listen the fans are gonna eat this up. Yeah, it's yeah. like they're just looking at fans as idiots. Genuinely, yeah, there, is, yeah. there is something honestly just kind of just. On, yeah, there's something kind of insulting about it mm. because because at its core, it does the whole movie feels like an insult. Yeah. Where it's like, ah, oh, the fans will just eat this up. So fuck it, we don't we don't need to put our in. We can make this with the bare minimum, mm. with this bare minimum story that doesn't make any sense when you think about it. Yeah, it, yeah. it, the, the, it just it genuinely feels like an insult the more I think about it, and yeah. it makes me angry because I'm like, I know there's something there with Five Nights at Freddy's as a concept. You can make a cool movie out of it, yeah. but instead of making an idea that like finds you know something cool in that like simplicity it opts to basically be this kind of amalgamation of all of these different products it it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the uncharted movie yeah no, where I get that. that tried to tie air all of all parts of the franchise in but didn't tie them together in any meaningful way so it just mm. was kind of boring yeah dude i just kept seeing things i recognized but i wasn't like oh cool i was just kind of like oh there's the plane sequence from the fair game yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like I'm not, I'm not excited. I'm not, and then just kind of had that problem. Was I, no, I could, I, 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 I could recognize that. the iconography. I could see it, mm. but I don't care yeah. because I haven't been given a reason to care because I've got flat characters and the animatronics. They don't really have a personality. No, they're all the same, which yeah. is a shame because in the game they've done a really good job at making yeah. them all incredibly Foxy distinct. Foxy probably gets the most to do, which is weird. Yeah, did you nothing with Freddy? No, which is very strange. I mean, for, Time for the not... back of the fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> How he gets to that house. <laughs> no, other, yeah. other than I'm taking a bus. <laughs> like, <laughs> he takes a bus, fucking Bonnie like falls over. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that was funny. That was good. I don't know why, but I don't know why. I like that, happened. but again, it was... it's that problem of I understood what they were trying to do there, but again, it has that problem of I'm not scared of them anymore. See, that's the thing. So it goes from, ooh, yeah. look at this cute moment to then, okay, now okay, now we need to be scared of them again. And the only thing they really do to make you scared of them is their eyes go red. They all, they all look like they've just taken a massive, like, spliff. Like, all of them are, like, so high. Like, they're yeah, all no, faded. I, I think this is the problem, and I think yeah. it's kind of akin to some of the shit like Morbius. Yeah. And the way that there's such a... Because these are the, are the mascots <laughs> of the film, <laughs> in terms of these are the faces of the film. Yes. They don't want... I'm assuming studios don't want <laughs> them to be over, overtly villainous. Which, yeah... Which is a problem because the thing is, right? It's kind of like how Megan was a joke. Yeah. If you know what I mean? Which, which, but what? But one thing about Megan, one thing I'll give Megan is Megan embraced yeah. the campiness yeah, of its premise. Yeah. So yeah, it's not perfect, but Megan's really fun. Yeah. Because it knows it's not stupid absolutely. and it plays with the concept. But with this, what it does, because they spend so much time mm. humanizing yeah. these evil animatronics. Yeah. By the end. You know what I mean? If, if they're going to make a sequel, they'd be the good guys. No, yeah. They're, try- <laughs> they're, they're yeah. not scary. They're trying to have the cake and eat it too. Yeah. They're yeah. trying to do both. The, the, the- ah, there's a cake in the film. Ah. I, 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 see, I see what you're up to. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, because, because because with Megan, Megan, like, that character was never necessarily, like, a threat. Yeah. In the traditional sense. It was a threat to the characters, but for us it wasn't. Yeah. But the difference there was the film embraced the campiness of yeah. its story. It knew it was stupid, yeah, so it yeah. rolled with it. Whereas with this, That's, they're still trying yeah. to be serious well, at with, times. With which... Megan, what they did was they made her stupid. Like The, the moments that are mm-hmm. stupid in Megan, uh, like her dancing and shit, mm-hmm. she never stops being a villain. No. She just becomes... It's like, yeah, a, yeah it's like a... Vi- she's always a villain. Yeah. They never try and go, you see, Megan's got a heart to go. She just kind down. of yeah. becomes more likable. Yeah, to it's, the, yeah, to no, the viewer. it's, yeah. Yeah. With with this, it's the moments like Bonnie falling over or yeah. Freddie hugging her, where it's yeah. like, oh, 
they're yeah. nice actually well yeah all all of our crowd watching it were like oh yeah and it's yeah. like but now granted i know in the games like they do kind of make them into a mm. bit more you know they do lean them towards like they're not bad people necessarily but the thing is with with the games the time they take yeah. to do that it becomes more tragic than cute yeah, yeah yeah these children are trapped in these bodies yeah and there's something kind of sad about it because they're killing people but they're only doing it because out of fear and out of like and it's out of their control and there's something sad about that in the games and it's yeah. a really really it totally it only changes the game mm. in a really cool way whereas with with the movie they've tried to have them be both scary and cute Mm. You can't have them yeah, be scary exactly. and cute. You've got to pick one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't have a scene where Freddy splits a fucking person in half, but then have him giving high fives to a little girl and be like, ooh. Yeah, exactly. Also. But then still want to have him be scary again. Also, one thing I've just realised. They didn't play the um, the jingle. Oh, yeah. They never played he that never once. It's, it's, all, or whatever. it's all over the trailers. Yeah. They, they, you don't hear the... Hur, 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 hur. Like, mm-hmm. you, know, you don't hear that once. Yeah. I was fully expect. That's weird. But they played the living tombstone. Also, Matt Pat's in the movie. Did we Matt mention Pat. that yet? Oh, yeah, Matt Pat's in the movie. Did you know that? <laughs> did, did yeah, and he really... actually says, that's just a theory, it... which made me want to kill myself. <laughs> I, think, I don't know what made me want to kill myself more. The fact Matt Pat's in the movie mm. and says that's just a theory. Or the fact our entire audience knew who Matt Pat was. Yeah, you see, this is this is, this is is kind of the thing and this is the unfortunate... Look, we, we clearly hate the movie. Yeah. But who gives a fuck what we think? Yeah, exactly. Because it's one of them. The crowd, we, we were clearly in the minority because the crowd fucking ate it up. They clapped. This is, this is good. <laughs> what? <laughs> they actually clapped. <laughs> oh no! Oh, movies are dying. Well, um, what's what's the point? Why are we doing this? No, yeah, see, maybe, see, maybe movie critics are irrelevant. <laughs> exactly. We've been talking about this for forty-five minutes nearly, our, and it's like our audience clapped. Our audience clapped. Look, enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. No, obviously. See, look, look. The thing is, people. This is this is going to be a movie that gets like a twenty percent, probably yeah. probably even lower, quite frankly, on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's going to get a ninety-five. On, yeah, on yeah. Because the thing is. People are going to go into this purely because they just want to see the animatronics yeah. on screen. And if that's what you're going in for, then yeah, you'll probably mm. enjoy it. They're not in it that much, but when they are in it, because that's I will say that is probably the one positive I'll give it. They are cool. No, yeah. They it's really, really look great. I'm really, yeah, they look amazing. They look mm. straight out of the games. And I, I, I'm I, not sure how great they look in movement. The, the there's one, some bits of them moving where I'm not convinced. I don't see. I don't mind uh, that they look a bit stiff. Mm. I actually think that adds to it. It's not really the stiffness. It's, I think, yeah, I think it's when they're meant to look scary, they can sometimes look goofy. Well, that's well, that's the thing. I one thing I will say. I hate. I hate the fact that eyes change. Yeah. I feel that's too much. Yeah. You don't. You don't need them to have red eyes to indicate so that they're funny. evil. Just have that's them so because it, to me, yeah, again, it's too much. Yeah. It's yeah. like because because in the game they don't do that. Mm. In the game. They're just the same. It makes it scarier because in the games, what they're technically not doing anything wrong yeah. when they're when they're attacking people. They're just seeing people and putting them in the suits. Yeah. Because they think, oh, like they're just going by what they believe they're meant to do. Yeah. But so they're not outwardly evil. Whereas when you see them in this and their eyes dark glowing red and like like the two st- like it's again it's like you you you're trying too hard yeah. to make them scary yeah because yeah. again it's like again you're making this like the audience are idiots yeah and then going oh well they're not good enough so we need to eat their eyes red and it's like why though yeah like no, I can you don't it. need to do that like yeah. you, you can these characters are creepy on their own but you mm. could do see it's funny because there's, there's, there's two things i've been watching recently which i was thinking about a lot as i was watching this yeah, yeah. one was resident evil yeah. The movies. Yeah. I've been yeah. watching those and it's funny because they're not that accurate to the games. No, really. not the slightest. Apocalypse is probably the closest. And funny enough, I hated that. Really? I hate I hate See I quite like Apocalypse. I, thought, I, thought Apocalypse I think sucked. I think Apocalypse is stupid. The thing is, Apocalypse this is <laughs> <laughs> You'll see you'll see the point in a yeah, minute. Yeah. <laughs> Apocalypse to me is like the genet like 
it makes me nostalgic for generic fucking yes. mid 2000 action in films. a way yeah yeah but i think like f- yeah i think for me what i liked about the later entries yeah. and, and the first resident evil is they are bad cheesy movies yeah but they capture the spirit hey retribution of- kicks ass retribution fucking rules. retribution fucking rules that was great oh my god yeah. but uh, yeah so um yeah even Afterlife too, but anyway, <laughs> the final chapter. They capture. I haven't seen that yet. Good. But they capture the spirit of Resident Evil yeah. quite well yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're stupid and cheesy, yeah, which is yeah. what Resident Evil's always been. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, they're not the most accurate to the games, but I think they capture the spirit really well. Mm. But recently, I've also been on a huge analog horror kick. Yeah. I've been like watching a lot of that, and there's two things I've watched. One is Five Nights at Freddy's releases. It's like a fan creation of these like VHS tapes mm. in the universe where it's a lot of the anim- like it's a lot of the analog horror tropes but they kind of basically they tell the story of Five Nights at Freddy's in a different way okay. through through that medium yeah. and they're genuinely really chill mm. and really creepy but there's another thing I've been watching this analog horror series called The Walton Files Okay. and it's heavily inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's it's about animatronics just like Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. but it is fucking terrifying because the story it tells is incredibly dark, but it's also very engaging. It's a very, very, it's very similar in spirit to the early days of Arnett of Ferries, mm. where it's a creepy story with lots of very interesting lore and characters and these ideas that are interesting and yeah. you engage with it. The Walton Files doesn't stop and then say, whoa, isn't this silly? Like, because, and I think, because again, with the Walton Files, it does a lot with so little. Mm. It's not perfect. Some of the voice acting shite in it. And some of the some of the animation in it looks because it's a lot of 2D like drawings and stuff yeah, is how yeah. it's like designed. Some of it doesn't look great. Mm. But the, the atmosphere it creates the tension. Yeah. It is terrifying. Yeah, I get what, that. One of the episodes is an hour long mm. and it never stops being terrifying. It's yeah. just constantly up in the ante. It is Apt. The Walton Files is absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. If people want like a like a Fire Night to Freddy's thing that's scary, watch that. Yeah. Like it is fucking phenomenal. And the yeah, the Fire Nights, the, the, the FNAF like VHS tapes too are incredible. And I was thinking about all of these things while watching the film mm. because while watching this movie, I just kept thinking about how fucking fans fans were making. Five Nights at Freddy's content that was far more engaging than whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. Because yeah. I, because it's one of them. I do respect Scott Cawthon for being so open for fan collaboration and being so open for fans to make stuff in that universe. I think it's sick. Mm. I really respect them for doing that. But <laughs> at the same time, right? It's just funny that he's made this film, which he didn't direct it, but he wrote it. Yeah. He's one of the writers on it, and it's bullshit. Yeah. It's just absolute shit. It's just, it's such a disappointment. And I wasn't even that, my expectations weren't even that high anyway, but yeah, somehow yeah. I've come out of it more disappointed. Yeah. Maybe just because of how fucking incompetent it is as a film. Yeah, no, I, 